Well, welcome to Power Play for this Thursday. Now, it may not seem like a very big deal. A conservative logo or name on one of those clown size checks, you know, those big, huge things that they use for photo ops. But there is something about it that rankles people in politics and those who study politics and those who sometimes have to referee politics. Try to convince voters that they got stimulus money not because it was part of some big plan, but rather because their local MP is a really, really good guy, seems to many to be somewhat off base. Is writing the MP's name on the bottom of a phony check an obvious attempt to place the glory on the MP or the Conservative Party instead of the government of the people of Canada? Well, that's going to be up to the Ethics Commissioner, who now has received some 47 complaints about this sort of thing. Well, someone who used to have to decide these things and take a look at all angles in it joins me now, the former Ethics Commissioner, Howard Wilson. Mr. Wilson, welcome to Power Play. Good to have you here. Hi, Tom. How are Let you? Me I'm well, thank you. Let me start off by asking you, you've, you've seen in the last couple of days these checks, most of them, quite frankly, with the, the name of the MP on that part of the check, you know, where you sign, as if you're the person actually going to pay it. Uh, strictly from an ethical point of view, what's your take on that? I guess my view is that it's, um, it's, it's a little bit too much exuberance on the part of, uh, on part of some MPs. Uh, wanting to take credit quite legitimately for services to their constituents. But this is uh, federal money. Uh, it's coming from the government of Canada. And, uh, and I think that uh, this is uh, something that is, should probably be uh, a uh, lesson learned and, uh, and people to ensure that they don't do this in, th this in future. Should have the government of Canada, if you're going to have these large checks, I understand why they would want to take credit uh, no doubt they put a lot of work into it and uh, MPs have to get uh, elected and uh, re-elected but uh, there has to be a line drawn. So it's, it, it's a question I hear you saying of, of balance really between uh, the legitimate role of an MP in saying look what I brung you from, from Ottawa and how it should be handed out but in your view because you, you looked at this for many many years what would be the appropriate way for MPs to hand out this type of money now what we're talking about now the stimulus money is unprecedented in Canadian history but in the normal run of events uh, these, these uh, photo size checks and so on what would be the ethical way of handing out this money? Well, first of all, Tom, I should, I should make clear that when I was ethics counselor, my responsibilities were for, for ministers, uh, parliamentary secretaries, and governor and council appointees. I had no responsibilities for, for MPs. Um, that right. has now changed uh, with the Accountability Act. But I think that what is important here is that there be a, a recognition that you have to have certain standards by how uh, people conduct themselves in, in public life. Um, the um, the uh, conflict of interest code had a set of principles, which said that uh, and the first one said that uh, every public office holder was expected to uphold the highest ethical standards uh, to ensure uh, trust in and uh, in in government. And I think that that those were very welcome. They didn't tr they didn't follow into the Accountability Act for for reasons I don't understand. These principles, which were very important in how I carried out my work um, have disappeared and uh, and so some guidance which I think would have been very helpful for for MPs uh, has uh, has fallen by the wayside I, I want to ask for your opinion and understanding that your background did not delve into the area of advertising but now that you're retired and can look back and sort of see things on, on a broader scale and I think you're probably better positioned than most to have an opinion about this. We've been talking over the past couple of weeks about government ads, particularly the ones that have been promoting the economic action plan and as you may have heard the opposition has said this is out of line, you're spending uh, tens of millions of dollars on ads that really don't tell us anything but seem to promote uh, the, uh, the government's agenda or the Conservative Party's agenda. Uh, when you look at that sort of thing, is, has a line been crossed with those uh, TV ads that are all over the TV screens in Canada? I don't know. I, 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 I would say no, um, that uh, the opposition parties saying that this is outrageous is, is the kind of thing that uh, you would expect of the opposition parties. Um, I think that a uh, government has uh, every right to uh, boast about its achievements 
and uh, and in this case that's what they seem to be doing um, but don't expect the the uh, opposition parties to go off and say what a wonderful job you're doing that's not in the nature of the <laughs> Canadian political system yeah, even if Howard Wilson says it's okay uh, <laughs> I hear you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, Mr. Wilson, I, I can't thank you enough. Uh, this has been a very valuable contribution to the discussion that's going on in Parliament Hill, and I certainly appreciate your time. Thanks for being with us today. Okay, thank you, Tom.